Today, we're going to add four push buttons to this motor shield that I've used before in previous videos. So let's get going right now. Originally, I wasn't going to show this video through YouTube. I was only going to show this for members and patrons. But in a way, this is for you to see what you would get in addition to YouTube videos for becoming a member by hitting that join button or contributing on Patreon. So here you go. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other monitors who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And we are going to add four push buttons to this Sun Founder L293D motor shield. And as you can see right here, there are holes where I could add pins. We're going to add pins to there. Those are the analog inputs. And right next to it, right here, are the power and ground holes where I'm going to add pins to them. So let's get started with this right now. If you watched the last video, you'll remember this right here where I use this push button to operate the tortoise switch machine. I am going to add three more push buttons onto this one. This is basically the same thing going this way here. And I'm going to put the pins right here. And these are the pins. We're going to solder these on and then we're going to work on the sketch to get this to work. I haven't tested the sketch yet. I haven't even written the sketch yet. Here's the fun part. We're going to start soldering the pins on the board. The pins are soldered in place. Here we go with all four of the push buttons. And that's all there is to it. Now I have my power supply set at 12 and a half volts and it is drawing 0 0.09 amps, whether it's in idle or all four of them are moving. It still shows up 0 0.09 amps. So that's not too bad. Each channel of each chip can handle 0.6 amps. So you have plenty of space in there. If you wanted to put two tortoise switch machines on each output, you could actually drive four tortoise switch machines. If you have a crossover, you'll have two of them on there. So, but say that on that crossover, you want to turn another turnout, you could have three on there and still have plenty. So you could add three, maybe even four tortoise switch machines to each one of the outputs on this L293D motor shield. Now we're going to run this with the LEDs. It's a little bit hard to see with the lights shining directly on it, so I'm going to shade it with the board a little bit. So there you have it with the push buttons and the LEDs installed. This sketch that I have on top is the very first one that I did any experimenting with, with the tour to switch machine. Now I expanded on that since then and I added a push button. Now the first push button I did was right here. If you would like to support this channel and see more videos like this and more Members only videos, go ahead and hit that join button right next to the subscribe button. Then you'll be able to see all that extra content that you get from becoming a member. And don't forget the patrons also on Patreon. You also get bonus material on there by supporting Tom's Trains and Things.
And another cool thing about becoming a member is on the live chat, your name comes up in different colors, showing that you are a member of the train crew, the superintendents, or executive producer. So go ahead, hit that join button right now, or go on Patreon and become a patron. The links are in the description. So, until the next time, we'll see ya. Nah, okay, now, okay. Okay, let's do it this way. The pins are soldered in place. A portion of the vid... <laughs> as soon as I start, Debbie flushes the toilet. <laughs> oh, 